broken back. It was probably spinal, you know, <laughs> uh, was able to cook John Morant and uh, the Grizzlies uh, and get in the seeding game. So the playoff uh, uh, brackets are set up. Uh, you got the Lakers going against the Blazers in the first round. Uh, Lakers haven't been looking too hot um, as of late in the seeding games. Damian Lillard is the seeding uh, uh, games MVP. Uh, I mean, how do you guys feel about that first round matchup between the Lakers and the Blazers? And if you did see the game uh, the other night between the Blazers and the Grizzlies, how did you feel about that game? Uh, whoever wants to go, I, I, AJ could go first. Well, I didn't get a chance to watch the Blazers Grizzlies game. I mean, I saw the score. Yeah, um, but I'm rocking with the Lakers in the first round. Oh yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> Lakers are good, but I, I, I think I'm, I'm gonna be respectful and give Portland a game. A game, uh, a game. I'm be, and that, that's me being respectful. Um, that doesn't sound I, too I, respectful. Yeah, a game, <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a game, you know. Out of respect, I will give you one. <laughs> I mean, but I look at matchups and I look at with LeBron and AD and the Lakers. So I think it's gonna be just too much for Portland to overcome. Yeah. Um, and especially if you if you've paid attention, uh, historically in NBA, Damian Lillard, he's a small guard, and it's it's really hard for a small guard. Yeah. To be the star of a team and carry a team without a supporting cast and win a championship, yeah, it hasn't been done. Like you look at Isaiah Thomas, but you, you know he had a Joe Dumars, you had a Bill yeah. and Beer, he had a star, he had a roster around him, you know. Yeah. But Iverson's another example. Iverson wasn't wasn't able to do it when he ran to Shaq and Kobe. And I think yeah. with Damon Lillard being the guy, that go to guy with his size, I just don't see how he's able to overcome a team with LeBron, AD, um. And the shooters that have on that squad, I think it's going to be yeah. too much. Which is why, like I said, I'm going to be respectful. Damon Lillard, he's a great talent. I'll give him yeah. a game. If they don't sweep him, I'll give him one game. But I think the Lakers will take it in five games. I mean, I don't know. I look at like, – I understand what you're saying, AJ, but I kind of look at that that matchup, right? Like the Lakers – like we talked about it last episode where the Lakers, their continuity issues is kind of – they're kind of doing like a lot of plug and play, right? Like Deion Waiters. <laughs> Like, the Lakers are very top-heavy. So you have two of the top five players uh, mm-hmm. with LeBron and AD. But then the problem is when you look at the rest of the roster, they're kind of like a bunch of knuckleheads, to, you know what I mean, we're, we're including Kyle Kuzma, uh, the Henny God, J.R. Smith, and, and Deion mm-hmm. Bader. So I, 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 I look at Portland, in which Portland's a, a, it's a, a more of a complete team. They don't have the heavyweights uh, like LeBron and AD. Mm-hmm. CJ CJ McCollum is a really good uh uh complimentary piece to uh Damian Lillard. You also have Gary Trent Jr. who stepped up in the bubble as well. Mm-hmm. And then you have Carmelo, man. Carmelo Carmelo's like he's you know 15.4 six rebounds uh, uh this season. I'm like, "Listen, man, it, it is one thing LeBron had the story career, right? LeBron has had the story career from that 2003 draft class. But mm-hmm. this could be Melo time to shine." Right, because I, listen, listen, it, it's 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 unusual circumstances, right? And right now, if you ask me who is the best player, because you got to remember, the 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 they emphasize that this is a whole new game, right? That's mm-hmm. the slogan for the restart of the NBA season. It's mm-hmm. a whole new game. Mm-hmm. And since this whole new game started, Damian Lillard has been the MVP of this whole new game, right? Mm-hmm. Behind. behind uh, Devin Booker, which we'll talk about the Suns a little bit in a little mm-hmm. bit, and mm-hmm. uh, uh, TJ Warren. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I look at this whole new game, and the only fault that I see with the Blazers is that as much that as much offensive power they have, they don't have that on the other side of the ball, right? Because you think about it, they won a game in, with, by four points with a team with a Brooklyn Nets team without. Uh, Kyrie Irving or Kevin Durant, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Karis LeVert is obviously a good player, but Spencer mm-hmm. Dinwiddie's not there, right? Mm-hmm. So you win by four without these caliber guys, and, and, and they let Joe Harris go off. They let Karis LeVert look like an all-star. I'm not saying he can't, Karis LeVert can't be an all-star, but not yet, right? Um, 
So I look at the Blazers like they're going to give the Lakers problems offensively, especially if Nurkic plays the way he's been playing in these seeding games. Listen, Nurkic, his responsibility is against Anthony Davis, right? Like let LeBron James get his points. You have to kind of nullify Anthony Davis because right now, if you look at the Lakers, Anthony Davis is lead, leading in all stati- statistical categories except for assists, which in LeBron's 17th year is amazing because he is the assist leader of uh, of this season at 10.2 a game. So I look at what I look at what the Blazers are able to do offensively, and obviously they're a juggernaut on offense. But they got to be able – they have to find some way to equate that on the other side of the ball. I do give the Blazers a puncher's chance. I'm not I'm not saying it's going to go seven because I'm not going to disrespect LeBron and AD. But they got some continuity issues. And I don't know what you're going to get from Kyle Kuzma mm-hmm. because, listen, LeBron has taken a step back because I mm-hmm. feel like he's proved everything. Like he said, he said when he won that game, that, that playoff, that final series in 2017, when mm-hmm. he came back 3-1, Mm-hmm. He felt like he he didn't have to put his foot on the pedal, so I listen. I got the Lakers winning, I do. But if the Blazers end up winning, I don't see it as such a. I I, I don't see it as like uh, like it would be a mistake. Like I, I I honestly see the Blazers do have an opportunity to beat the Lakers because the mm-hmm. Lakers got a lot of questions. You mm-hmm. know what I mean, and the the. Not shooting the shooter, not having the shoot around, building that continuity is a big thing. It's only eight games. It was only eight games. Mm-hmm. So the Blazers are right now, the Blazers and the Suns, the Suns who aren't in the playoffs, are one of the hottest teams in the league. Mm-hmm. And they, I don't know how uh, CJ McCullum back is going to hold up. You know what I mean? Since it is spinal, mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm looking at this is going to be a tough series and one of the most interesting uh, matchups that's going to be. Uh, this playoff honestly I agree I think the Blazers are definitely going to give the Lakers a bit of a challenge um from like from the time I've started from the time I started following the Lakers up until now I've always seen them as a team that kind of relies on their big names a little too much I don't see much from their like their smaller players and I feel like the Blazers are there because they're considered the underdog in the situation, they're going to come as a more well-rounded team. They're going to work with everything that they have to provide, like all their resources, whereas the Lakers are too focused on the names that have already made it. Like you said before, like LeBron feels like he's already made his, like made his name, proved his point, all of that. He's not hungry anymore. So you're not going to see that hunger on the court. You're not going to see him because he's LeBron. He's like, and he expects other people or other teams to be intimidated when he steps on the court because yeah. he is who he is. Yeah. So I I'm I wouldn't be surprised if well I would be surprised if the Blazers won, but I like you said it wouldn't be a mistake. It's yeah. methodical. It would they yeah. would plan for this. It would make sense. Yeah. Like so that's the thing, right? It's like we're used to LeBron leading in all statistical categories, right? But this time is different. You know, it's it's Anthony Davis, and I know LeBron is putting the battery in his back, and I get that. But AD has has had issues in the fourth quarter in these seeding games uh, since the season uh, has recommenced. AD hasn't been a powerhouse in the fourth. The first three quarters, AD's been a monster. LeBron has been able to close out, and it's it's just a, it's it's a lot of uncertainty. It's a lot of unknown, mm-hmm. like. A, you know, this whole bub- – these bubble games, I feel like it benefits the younger guys than it does the older guys. You know what I mean? AD is going is to have to go on the block a little bit more. LeBron is going to orchestrate the or- offense as he usually does. But I don't know how much he got left in the tank when you're just playing half-court basketball. Damian Lillard, listen, you're going to have to guard up on him. The, the team that was successful in guarding Damian Lillard, in the past, in my, if I could remember, in the most re- recent playoff histories, was the New Orleans Pelicans, mm-hmm. and that's because they they had layers of defense on Damian Lillard. Obviously, Lillard has developed his game since then, but uh, listen, they, they're going to have to do a little bit more of that. And CJ McCollum, you know, with the fracture back and all, I don't know how effective he's going to be. But listen, they got guys, man, and I, I I wouldn't be surprised if Melo goes off for thirty in one of these games because he could do it. <laughs> like, I, obviously, he has to 
you know, the NBA, you have to be efficient because you have to do a true shooting percentage and you have to do, you know, have to be within the PERs and you have to be effective. But listen, man, Melo's a walking bucket, man. Like they talk about Jamal Crawford, but yo, Melo's along those guys. J.R. Smith's along those guys. D.R. Smith is along is along those guys. But you got to remember, Carmelo's above all those guys. Lou Williams is another guy they would put in that in that category. But listen, man, Melo can get buckets in his sleep. So be don't be surprised if you see uh, LeBron got to switch up on Melo in a couple possessions. You know what I'm saying? No, I I have to guys. So, I mean, there's yeah. some good points. Uh, yeah, I, I've I've always viewed Melo as a, a really good player. I've never viewed Melo as a star. Melo doesn't play defense. Doesn't get boards, and he has slow feet. But he could get he could yeah. score buckets. Yeah. Um, my thing is that if Damian Lillard is gonna go off, which we know he's gonna get his, that's fine. Let him get his. Yeah. Now, the question is, who else is gonna step up? I and mean, master Lakers firepower. They got some guys, man. Don't 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 forget them. <laughs> Zach, Zach Zach Collins. You got oh, on, Yusuf. Nur- you got Yusuf Nurkic. You got Carmelo. You got Gary Trent Jr. Who's been stepping up? Hey, you're, you're but I understand. I understand though. I you're gonna understand. trust those. You're gonna trust those guys. And like, let's say this goes five or six games down the stretch, fourth quarter. You're gonna trust. You're gonna, you're gonna rely on Nurkic really to bring you home. Let, no, I mean obviously it, 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 it's do and die with Lillard. Obviously it's do and die with Lillard, but. <laughs> I think that's, that, the, that's, the, that's their Achilles heels. Yeah. Like, it's do or die with Lillard. It's similar to the Sixers when they had Iverson. It's do or die with AI. But so, listen, C.J. McCollum, listen, when he was playing against the Nets, C.J. McCollum stepped up. Is it by question? Is it by accident Portland had to fight to get in the eighth seed? Is it by accident? No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. But, <laughs> so yeah. I mean, no, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, right. like I'm saying, like, it's not by accident. No, you right. Had to fight to get that last seat against Memphis, and they beat Memphis by four points, if yeah. I recall correctly, yesterday's yeah, game. So they, to me, yeah, these are things did. that I'm looking like, okay, I'm like, okay. And Memphis is they're an up and coming ball club. They're, they are, you know, they're young talent. So now you, you got to go against a, a LB, a LeBron, a LeBron, and I think with them not doing the shoot around, I think it's by design to rest rest those older guys. I, I can understand that. Yeah, but come playoff time, I think LeBron and AD they're gonna take it to another level. I mean, and then. AD, AD hasn't been much in the playoffs, man. He has seven years right. in New Orleans and ain't do a do a thing over there, you know. But he's playing with LeBron James now. It's a different yeah. ballgame. So it's like, yeah. and then you look at a Jared. Jared may be a basket case, but he did win a championship with LeBron in Cleveland. He did he do did. that. He did. He did. He did. He did. So I mean, I, I Jr. doesn't get enough credit. Jr. is a solid three and D guy. Yep, he makes a couple of bonehead mistakes, but Jr. The Henny God is a solid basketball player. You call him the Henny God? The Henny God. <laughs> <laughs> you know? All right, let's touch a little bit on the other uh, playoff matchup that's going on. I'm going to start off in the Eastern Conference, and you guys just give me give me your picks, who you feel like it's going to be. So we'll start with Milwaukee. They're going against Orlando, uh, uh, against Orlando Magics. We, we feel that's a sweep for the most part. We can all agree on that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the magic yeah. doesn't have enough firepower. Aaron Gordon is getting paid too way, way too much, and he does way too little. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah. Up next, you got the Toronto Raptors versus the Brooklyn Nets. Do you feel like Brooklyn can get a game? Spencer Dinwiddie is is a maybe. Obviously, they're out without KD, and obviously they were out Kyrie Irving. But do you feel like Brooklyn even gets a game against the Raptors? Against the Raptors? Yeah. Ooh. Um, I, don't I think they could get a game against the Raptors. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think do like so. AJ, be like out of respect, I'll, they get one game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. It's out of they get one they game. Get one game. And look, I, I'll give. I have more respect for Portland getting a game or two than Brooklyn getting a game against Toronto. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Because I didn't know. I didn't. I knew KD was. I didn't know Kyrie was out too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Katie and Kyrie is out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Lord. So, so next we go, uh, and this is to me the most interesting, interesting matchup in the Eastern Conference. You got the Boston Celtics versus Philadelphia 76ers. Obviously, Ben Simmons is not going to be able to play uh, in these playoffs. Uh, Jason Tatum, to me, is a uh, up and coming superstar. You got a good roster with Jalen Brown, Gordon Hayward. Uh, and Kemba Walker, you got Boston winning, you got Philly winning. That's going to be an interesting series. I'm looking forward to that. Wow. Um, 
Wow, well, I'm gonna rock with Philly. Really, with no Ben Simmons. I'm gonna rock with Philly. I'm gonna go Boston. I'm, I, yeah, I have to go Boston, yeah. man. I'm gonna they, go with Philly. They Ooh. got, they got. Listen, man, Boston is stacked, man. They got wings, man. You you think they got Hayward? They and that's their third option or fourth option. They got mm-hmm. Hayward. They got Jalen Brown. You got Jason Tatum. You you got Kemba Walker. You got Marcus Smart, man. That perimeter defense is gonna I'm, be tough because outside yeah, of Boston Tobias, stacked. yeah. Outside of Tobias Harris and Alex Burks, uh, Alex uh, Burks and uh, Josh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I forgot the guy name. The shooting guard. Uh, he was from Miami. They're not. He's not really having a good season. You know what I'm saying? So I, 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 I kind of got Boston in this, in this one, man. Listen, that'd be interesting series. Um, Ben Simmons is out. Okay, who would? I'll be interesting. Um, man, do you, question. Do you believe Boston's a better team this year with Kemba than they were with Kyrie? Oh, Ke- listen, Boston's a way better team with Kyrie. I mean, with Kemba than they were with Kyrie. For sure. I love Kyrie Irving. And anybody who knows me, I love Kyrie Irving because he has that ball on a yo-yo. That ball, that ball okay. is, is on a string. But Kemba gives you the same numbers with mm-hmm. less attitude. And that's what I need for my, my star player. Uh, so I got, <laughs> I, got, I, I got Boston, man. Okay, that's cool. Um, how, how long has Ben Simmons up for? I don't know. I, I I think uh right now it's indefinitely. I don't know or pan how long he's out for, but he's definitely missing the first round. And I feel like he's gonna miss the rest of the playoffs because Boston's gonna beat. Okay. Boston's a dangerous team. Remember, they went to the Eastern Conference Finals and they took LeBron James in the okay, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my pick. Yeah. But if Boston wins, then it won't surprise me. Yeah. And then in the last game we have Pacers versus the, the last uh Pacers, the so number what? four seed. And number five, Miami Heat. I got Miami Heat going. I think this is where the stars come out. Demontis Sabonis is is uh, injured, uh, and Victor Oladipo is not living up to his All Star name uh, because he came back from a quadricep injury. I got I got Jimmy Butler and those guys doing work. I think they play good, solid defense. Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, Kendrick Nunn. I think all those guys. Jimmy Butler. Hassan, uh, I mean, not Hassan White, so I'm, uh, Bam out of bio. I think Miami has this one. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah I can I, see that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then we'll go to the West. We're not spend too much. The most interesting one to me is the Clippers versus the Dallas Mavericks. Now, I love Luka Doncic, but I also love Kawhi Leonard. This one is going to be an interesting one. For me, I got Clippers winning. I agree. Yeah, Clippers winning? Clippers. Clippers, 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 and, Clippers and six, because I think Miami, and it's really all, I mean, not Miami. I think the Mavericks, I don't know what I'm going to get for Kristaps Porzingis. Uh, I love Luka Doncic, but he's only one man. Uh, but the Clippers are so deep, and the Clippers are actually the favorite to win the NBA title, which is crazy. They uh, are, which is, yeah, they're definitely up there this world. That's crazy. And then we uh, number four, number five, you got the Houston Rockets versus Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, the Houston Rockets will be without Russell Westbrook. Uh, obviously, Chris Paul for Oklahoma City is having an MVP caliber season, having uh, the Thunder sit at the number five seed. I love James Harden. I love the beard because I got one. But I'm going with Chris Paul and the Thunder to beat the Rockets in the first round. Yeah, I'm thinking Wait, that too, especially James without Harden. Westbrook. Yeah, no Westbrook. Okay. No Westbrook, yeah. man. Listen, the yeah, Thunder okay. are deep, man. The Thunder are deep, man. And Dennis okay. Schroeder, Dennis Schroeder is slated to come back. So Dennis Schroeder is a guy who could give you 17 a night off the bench for the Oklahoma City Thunder. I just think the Thunder are too deep, and they're going to surprise a lot of people. I actually have the Thunder as one of my sleepers winning the NBA championship. But it's a sleeper. It's a sleeper. Wow. It's a long shot. It's a long shot. But it would be nice. To see, it would be nice for Chris Paul to get a ring because I think he has a story career. I still think he's one of the top point guards in the league, and he he's mm-hmm. able to lead any franchise, man. Even at the you know the old age of thirty five, you know what I'm saying? You gotta stop saying that thirties is old. Like, no, listen, listen, man. Thirty sports wise, it is. Sports wise, yeah, you 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 about to die. <laughs> <I think. That's laughs> but, yeah. So the next topic I want to talk about is um, is the, the the Seahawks and and I foul. Do. We're in my territory now. What's listen. Up? Listen, <laughs> and I get it. Everybody needs 
cutty, especially in these quarantine times, right? I get it, and I understand. But my man, you are undrafted rookie from Oklahoma, right? He plays cornerback. Listen, you only got a two thousand dollars signing bonus because you were undrafted. Listen, I need you to do better, man. Cutty you know, will, Watt just came Cutty, out. He got excited. He got excited. He's Watt, like, yep. I need to see what they're talking about. <laughs> and I and I get it. But the crazy thing to me about this all, about uh, all this, is that he tried to masquerade her as a player. And I'm like, so the reports say that he had her in a hoodie. And they, you know, uh, Seahawks personnel were able to see through the ruse easily. Of course. So I need to see the footage. I haven't seen the footage, but, the you know, maybe the footage is on TMZ somewhere. But I'm just like, bro, you got to get your money. These ladies will be here. You know, and, and I get it. It's quarantine. You're talking about months in a bubble. You know, self-discipline is something that athletes lack outside of their discipline. of playing Actually, a lot of athletes do discipline themselves during their seasons. Um, you'll hear like there are a lot of athletes that choose to not have sex while they're playing. Yeah. Like yeah. they're like, I'm in my season. I'm getting ready like for a game, whatever it is. They don't have sex because all that energy they need it for the game and they have to keep their focus. Yeah, but do. then there are some that are like. Not really. I'm not really for the sacrifice yeah. for that long. <laughs> yeah. Listen, there had to be a bye week or something where he could have snuck someone in or something, right? Like, you know, but it it it, it yeah. it's strange. Go ahead. Go ahead, AJ. No, I, no, I agree. Like, you're a drafted rookie. That means you have more to prove in camp. Yeah. So he has much more to prove. Um, and he pulled a pro move. He should have waited. Right? <laughs> The entertainment, everything else that comes with that lifestyle, it's always going to be there. So That's you just got to focus on football and do what you got to do. But yeah. you just not only were you were undrafted, and then now this happens. Like he hope he better hope and pray someone signs him. Yeah, you know this is mm-hmm. priorities. Yeah, yeah I mean, honestly, like at first, you know, I did say like it was a pro move, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's really not. He he pulled a really rookie move doing that, especially if you're undrafted, because yeah. this is when you have everything to prove. Yeah. And I've noticed a lot of teams, um, a lot of teams in the NFL are kind of getting fed up with these young kids that come in and yeah. they have these attitudes. They're partying. They're doing all yeah. kinds of stuff. I mean, like you see what happened with Odell. Like Odell yeah. was one of the best things that was on the Giants, but yeah. they got sick of him. They were okay. because he was always yep. acting up he was always doing something and what did they do yep. they gave him to the browns and now so he has to right. show and prove himself on a team that's just that's known for not really having the skill set they're not they're an underdog team when yeah. he was mm-hmm. on a team yeah listen i'm a giants fan i get it we suck right. right now but we like we have championships we have a reputation like that's we're true. still a, a solid team and he was on a solid team and now he's not and though the browns are on the come up he has to work from the ground up all over again because he couldn't get himself under control it's no longer just about what you can do out on that field it's about who are you as a person will you embarrass the franchise are you able to like take us to a championship and allow us to have a level of respect on the team we can't have just some kid that thinks He's hot now, so he can do whatever he wants because, oh, I'm I'm about to get drafted into the NFL. And it doesn't matter if you thought, like, first of all, the fact that he thought he could get away with it by yeah, which is disguising crazy. a girl as an NFL player. Was the ponytail out in the back? <laughs> like, like, he had a hood up, probably oh, not. She, but still, yeah, yeah. like, she's I'm so sure she was smaller than the That's average dude saying. on that team. Yeah. So... The right. fact that he thought he could get away with it just shows that just shows to me up front. Like, honestly, when I first saw the story, I was going to say, hmm, maybe you shouldn't have, like, completely removed him from the game like that. But now that I'm thinking about it, this move just tells me that he's cocky and he's young and he's dumb and he yeah. thinks he can do no wrong because yeah. he made it where, where most people can't. But the yeah. fact of the matter is you haven't made it yet. 
nobody has signed you yet. You're still yeah. nobody. You yeah. still have something to prove. And he got right. way too excited way too quickly. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. I think it's the arrogance of it. I don't know. I, 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 I <laughs> Listen, I hear you. I'm going to give a opposing opinion. It was a dumb move. That's a fact. Right. Uh, I, I feel I, I kind of feel bad for the guy because he wasn't drafted. He gets a chance to make the Seahawks roster. He does this one thing. He gets cut. I does. I do hope I, I do hope that he gets another opportunity to to, to play for another NFL team. And ho- hopefully he learned from his mistake. Listen, it's the same thing like D'Angelo Russell. Right. Like when he was on the Lakers, he did some dumb shit with Swaggy P. And they, yo, the Lakers Magic was like, yo, homie, got to get out of here. Shipped him to Brooklyn. Went to Brooklyn, became an all star. Now he has a good. Now he he got his money. He's on the Minnesota Timberwolves, and he's doing he's doing his he's doing things right. Not saying this is the case that's going to be for this young man. Uh, my my thing is, and Cheyenne, I understand what you're saying. He was acting like a pro because pro no, pro pro, uh, pro players know they could get away with certain shit because they got clout. This kid But they get away with it because they know somebody could see them and yeah. not care because this is a pro player. Like I yeah. promise you if back if like Odell got caught sneaking some girl yeah. into his room or something, yeah. they're not going to cut him. He's Odell. No, yeah. But he's going to get a stern talking to yeah. some kind yeah. of penalty of some sort, probably a large fine, but he's used yeah. to those. Yeah. But when yeah. you're like you haven't made your name yet. Yeah, it's crazy. You can't do stuff like that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. His, yep. his productivity yep. on the field, which he hasn't even had yet in the NFL, uh, doesn't equate for him, especially in these times, right? Like, I get it if it was, like, normal circumstances and we weren't in the times where we were in with the whole – the the whole – the all the protocols that now these, uh, these um, leagues have to have to protect their players. But the thing that was so dumb about it is like this coronavirus, this pandemic, it's it's real. And you risk the fact of bringing this in and contaminating one of the pro players. Right. Yep. To the point where now they have to quarantine and they're not available for training camp. And I think Pete Carroll looked at it mostly like that, which would make sense. You have to cut down the roster to about 50, uh, 50 plus. Uh, I think they were at 70, 76 when they when this guy was here. So they had to cut. You, you basically just cut yourself. You basically just cut yourself. Uh, but I hope the young man gets another chance because I think it's important to follow your dreams. Uh, you know, like Shia LaBeouf would say, <laughs> "Don't let your dreams be dreams." But just uh, do it. Just do it. But I think it was. I think it That's was the problem. Dumb. He just did it. Yeah, yeah. He. Went to, he, he, he he went with the Nike logo. You know what I mean? yeah. He went with the Nike logo. But, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's, it, it could cause so much problems what he did, right? If it was regular mm-hmm. times and it wasn't, uh, you know, uh, this coronavirus, the pandemic, every, you know, listen. See, I forgot about the pandemic. I was thinking, like, it was regular times. And even I'm still yeah. like, yeah, cut him because he's a reckless individual. Yeah. He's just going to bring that team trouble. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, think about it. You bring that girl in. Russell, you know, Wilson being the nice guy that he is, wants to invite the team for dinner. And here you got this guy who brought this IG model. I don't know if she was an IG model. I'm just assuming because if I was a that, never mind. But, <laughs> but, but um, you know, and, and he could sit down with Russell and all of a sudden Russell gets, uh, uh, you know, positive results for the coronavirus. And now he has to miss the training camp. And now you start, you're possibly starting the season without your star quarterback. Yep. yep. Listen, it's important. It's important possibly. to follow these rules, man. Listen. Yep. If it's a bye week, get, get, get the buns, right? By all means, get the buns if it's a bye week. That's what bye stands for, by all means. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but listen, you're not, you're undrafted, man. And I hope right. that he learns, right? It's one mistake. I heard he deactivated his Instagram or he deactivated the comments. You know what I'm saying, but listen, I hope I I hope he learns from it. I hope he gets another opportunity. I'm gonna follow him on Twitter, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But listen, AJ Cheyenne, I want to thank you guys for you know coming in and joining <laughs> for another episode. Man, it was a good time as always. I hope we can do more of this, even when uh, Big Sherm come back. Uh, more NFL, please. 
you know what I'm oh yeah for sure for sure you know it's my territory all day oh yeah i got you i got you. we got to talk some <laughs> giant stuff too we definitely got to talk some of course giant stuff. of course but no packers we don't talk about packers here Jeez. oh and patriots and patriots we can talk a little packers no, right? we don't we don't patriots talk patriots all day. We're, none oh. of that Oh my god. Two I, peas I, I, over here. Is, why, why, gotta go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, you got Why it. we want to talk about talk about a franchise that doesn't know who the they haven't had a good quarterback in years and the Giants. I mean, why we want to waste our time talking about them? Listen, I don't know. But they got Saquon, so you know, maybe. But listen, guys, I want to thank you guys <laughs> for tuning in to another episode. Let's be real. If you have any questions and comments, hit us up on LBRS Talk at gmail.com. You can even come up with suggested topics, uh, things that you want to hear us talk about. Make sure to check us out at YouTube at Let's Be Real Sports. Uh, we're on Instagram as well, uh, iTunes, Spotify, uh, Google Play. Make sure to subscribe, especially to the YouTube channel. And uh, make sure to check out the LBRS Sports blog on Facebook. Uh, Big Sherm usually posts dope comp- content in between episodes. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thank you again, AJ. Thank you again, Cheyenne. You guys have a good weekend as well. And uh, that's another episode in the bag. Peace. Later. All right. Later.